right, everybody, it's a feral. I brought my friend Randy along, her daughter Phoenix. She's so excited to be on TV. And this guy, I'm not sure what his name is. Maybe it's Billy. This is Farrell's partner for goat yoga. Yeah, that's right. That's a good idea. Um, we're at Gibson's Green Acres Dairy Farm. We're very excited because there's going to be some pig races happening any moment now. So let's uh, walk around, talk to some people, and watch some pig races. And that goat's peeing right now. <laughs> Alrighty, I am here with my my best friend of the best evening. Yes. Ever. Well, Andrea. no, forever. Yeah, Andrea. So, what is going on here today? We are having so much fun. It's our fall festival, Green Acres Dairy, and we're open to the public to share our farm with everybody. It is incredibly packed here right now. It is. We had princesses early today, and the haunted maze is getting ready to open, and people are excited. You know, you should put the princesses in the haunted maze. Well, I think there are some divas in there, but yeah, I don't know I'm, about princesses. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> you know, we're getting ready to go on the, uh, the uh, what do they call it? The hayride? tour. We're with this man right here. Is it considered a hayride? This isn't a hayride, is it? What is this? I mean, we're not on hay. Like a hayride, do you? No, like well, I don't know. Wagon ride? Do you see any hay? Yeah. What's well, straw? Isn't is it? he gonna be like this the whole time? Because if he is, I need. Twenty-four to know. hours a day. <laughs> huh? Twenty-four hours a day. This I mean, I don't spend. Right I spend nine hours. I'll just, a day with I'll me. just be quiet. <laughs> huh? I'll just be quiet, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, Ethan. So, where's Farmer Ron? He's coming. He's over there cooking hot, juicy hamburgers and onion rings for you. You're making him work. Well, somebody has to around here, oh, right? Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but he's he'll be on his way over. So. So, so he'll be he'll come over. Will he be on? Is he making me a burger? Or is he gonna be uh, interviewed? He's making you a burger and onion rings really? that we onions that we grew right here on the farm. They grow onion rings. I thought you had to. No, we grow them just like. Are that. they on tree? They're not on trees. Or are they in the ground? They're in the dirt. I thought it was like a vine or in something. In the ground, no. Oh. Onions are I'm gonna get I'm give me an onion ring. Come on. And onion here ring. are our famous cheese curds. Deep okay, cheese yeah, I wanna try one. Because we are a dairy. I've hey, never had a cheese curd. Okay, welcome everybody out to my farm. My name is Farmer Ron. Yeah. Alright, are you awake or not? Okay, welcome everybody out to my farm. My name is Farmer Ron. Now that's much better. My goodness gracious. Hi from Ron. Right. He's looking at me like 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 fried pig ears or anything, is he? No, but fried cheese curds. Have there you do, you tried those yet? Absolutely not. They are delicious. Maybe, you need to try maybe don't tell him what you're he's eating until after he's tried no, it and likes it's, it. I'll tell yeah, well. you everything. It's good food here. So I'm having trouble processing this thought. I just all of a sudden the world just crashed in on me and I short circuited. Um what are these pig races I've heard so much about? Well, the pig races will be at 7. We do them on Saturdays at 1, 4, and 7. And they're right here behind us at the Petting Zoo. They came all the way from North Dakota, and they are trained, and they race fast. Oh, really? How, how big are the saddles fun. on these pigs? The jockeys ride them. Well, there's no saddles on them, but you get to <laughs> pick your favorite pig and cheer uh, for it really loud. I do that on a daily basis sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> much, well, less a, never. much less a deal. Oh. Oh. Do you want to try one? Oh I need more hands. <laughs> I, I need more mouth. What's wrong with you? You need the hoodie. So you wear I, your hoodie backwards. Here you is our homemade donuts. Oh my gosh. You want a homemade donut? Get a donut, Fink. Yeah, yeah for sure. Go for a donut. Fries. Look, it's not my child, so I'm like, get in there, Fink. Right? You can get it. It's not even my kid. <laughs> apple right. rings. Don't yeah. even ask your mom. These are apple rings. Deep fried apple rings. Oh my gosh. And these You're are deep fried me. Oreos. Good Lord. You're killing me. Yeah. Can we be on TV? Did you have a cheese curd? You did. Yeah, right. I'm sure. You didn't give me one. You gotta talk to the one that's got a mouthful. My hands are full. Nobody will give me a I'll cheese curd. I'll hold it, but I don't thanks. do onions. So let me tell you a little bit about us. Uh, our farm is named Gibson's Green Acres. We have been here on this exact piece of ground that we're driving on right now for 149 years. So it's pretty awesome, I think. And I am the sixth generation dairy farmer here, and my kids are going to be the seventh. And we love what we do we want to be here for several more generations and 
kind of keep this thing going. All righty, Andrew. Well, hey, thank you so much. I want to go to the petting zoo. I want to go see the pig races. I want to do the big slide. I want to see I want, you do oh, that. Oh, there he is. There's Don't, Cameron. Stop. I want to see you on the moon belt, sir. <laughs> we weren't talking bad about you. To arm wrestle you. That's not, that's not the bit true. <laughs> Mr. Gibson, that's not true at all. <laughs> all righty. Well, hey, I will let you go. Right. Thank you so much for hey, talking. Have lots of fun. Oh, oh, look at those things right here. Okay, yes, that's okay. I just had CPR training. Ribbon fries. Oh. Like, and they are delicious. You want to have that and one? Yes, I do. These potatoes are from our farm. Oh, oh that, that that's a big house. so good. I'm thinking about eating it off the top. <laughs> oh, you got donut going on. Oh, my God. And what? Those are apple fries. I don't no, even care sorry. what. No, apple rings. Apple rings. I don't even care what they are. I'm just taking them and eating them. Oh, are they not? I think a lot of you probably have noticed that as you look around our community, there's a lot of development that goes on, right? And and there's a lot of houses being built and farm ground going away. Well, we don't want to be one of those farms that has houses all over our farm. And so we are trying to adapt to the current reality of our world. And that's why we started this corn maze. And so we really appreciate you coming out to the corn maze because it will help us keep this farm here in existence for a long, long time. So thank you very much for coming out and spending your time with this, okay? This is my friend Rami. I'm the Rami. I'm the understudy. The understudy? Yeah. I'm the one that shows up when Amy I can already comes. tell you're better than this guy. <laughs> what do you mean understudy? <laughs> no, Amy's understudy. Oh. Not his. Amy. I don't want to I don't want to under understudy? anything under Carol. I, I want to be his understudy. Nobody could nobody could Nobody would want to. Nobody could no, understudy. Nobody would that. want Yeah, exactly. Nobody would want to. Are you still recording? Constant. See, constant. I'm stop. in trouble now. No, it's on. You haven't even tried the Oreos. Have yet. you tried this? I haven't tried it. Chris, come try the Oreos. Get some of this stuff, guys. A deep fried Oreo. Deep fried Oreo. A deep fried Oreo. Oh, no? It's amazing. It's delish. Would you guys like to try some? Anything deep fried is delicious. Yes. All apple rings. This is the deep, the donuts. This is the apple. I haven't this found a donut I don't love yet. Yeah. I just want to buy it. This is the apple ring. They're delicious. Thank you. It's melting. I wouldn't have guessed. Isn't that delicious? So good. We're thinking about doing deep fried butter. That's really good. Deep fried butter. Yeah, they do a full chunk of butter. It's frozen. They deep, they batter it, deep fry it, and it just melts in your mouth. And you're just gonna go chew on a hunk of butter. Yeah. It does come from anything that comes from a cow is good. You're just driving. Well, let's <laughs> let's back that up just a step or two, maybe. Most things from a cow are good, right? Most things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We have our pumpkin patch over here. We have some really cool pumpkins and we would be so honored if you would pick a pumpkin or two or three or 20 for your family and decorate your front porch with our pumpkins this year. It, it'd make us feel really happy about life and make us feel like we kind of shared our farm with you. Oh, are we in center stage? Look at that, we're center stage at the pig race. Look at, these aren't pigs, these are goats. I think. I mean, Farrell's I'm not. Farrell's gonna do a little. Uh, Farrell's gonna do hey, a little goat yoga. You might want to bring her over this side. Come here. You don't want to be here because the pigs are gonna come run around. Yeah. Here. here. Hey, one, two, three, go. I'm just trying to keep her out of the way as much. Yeah, as you don't. That's where the pigs are gonna run. Even the green stuff is good for its own purpose, but not necessarily to eat. Yeah. Not while well, we're talking about pigs. No, yeah. no, yeah. no, no, no. no. <laughs> You, you got to clarify with me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very literal. <laughs> you're, you're one of those, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, and we have kettle corn. Just oh, the kettle corn. Oh, my goodness. Being cooked fresh. Yes, oh, fresh kettle so corn. Warm. I'm never going to. Right, what haven't you had? I haven't had this. Is it apple? They're yes. good. Apple, apple rings. I just want to, the smallest one I can find. Is this the same thing? Yeah. Do you eat an I apple ring, Penny? Yes. Oh, look, and you drug it through the... Hell yeah, what yeah, is that? Whipped cream. Oh, yeah, I hate whipped cream. Yeah. It's, what? That comes from a cow, too. I don't like it. What's wrong with you? It's like a little apple pie. You, is Chris the only one that's going to eat an Oreo? I yes, know. yes. I, okay. I mean, you got the apple. All right, so we are going to do a little bit of talking about some stuff that maybe some of you don't know a lot about. Maybe you do, but we're going to see, okay? So, right now, what is this behind me? Okay, are we asleep again? It is a corn maze. What He's right. is this behind me right here? Corn, corn. Maze. Are you sure it's corn? Maze. <laughs> huh? I don't know. That's pretty tall corn. Yeah. 
But it's corn, you're right. The pig have names like, I don't know, soiled britches? You know how they give horses like weird names like that? Well, there's, just, there's spam and bacon and ham. They, they are, there is that, yeah. I was going to say, just pick your least favorite ex and name your pig after that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, there's so many to choose from. Well, you got seven pigs. <laughs> so, Andrew, is telling me you're making hamburgers and, and such. Yep. I just thought you made milk. Well, I make well, milk. Well, you don't make the milk, but, you know, you make Collect it happen. It. <laughs> yep. Those hamburgers over there are our burgers, our cheese, our onions, and they would have been our tomatoes, except they froze last week. <laughs> they, you didn't get them off the vine in time, huh? Well, no. We got a lot off, but Not enough, huh? when it freezes, they're gone. Ah, well. Well, how does that work then when you put them in the freezer for... Oh, wait, nobody freezes tomatoes, do they? I don't know. So it is corn. Now, is it people corn or is it cow corn? Okay, I did not hear your answers. Is this people corn or is this cow corn? Cow. Cow. Everybody thinks it's cow corn. Nobody thinks it's people corn. Stop the tractor! Hey, that's your brain. Uh oh. All right, you're going to choose your favorite pig. If your pig. It, choose your girlfriend's favorite color, the eyes of your husband, or your favorite color at all. The pigs will be coming out soon, so make sure you put your ticket in the box for a chance to win a prize. So are you guys going on the butter bouncer? I would, but I got a bad knee. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would, but I will. Understudy. I tripped over my dog. You? Heck yeah. My kid's over there somewhere. Yeah. Her daughter's <laughs> jumping she. somewhere. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> I, I want the slide. Let's do it. Oh, Let's we'll race. do the side for sure. Let's race. Yes. Yeah, let's race. I'll race you. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I guess we're going to race. Okay. We're going to race. Hooray. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, can I just take all this stuff and put it in my pocket hold? and eat it when you I get home? Get apple? <laughs> You'll hold those. Give him one of those, <laughs> those donuts. I have the donut. It's good. Is that a donut? Okay. Yeah. Where's the apple? Man? Right, right, right here. Right here. Right here. They're good. It's like a baby apple. I'm going to bite of that. Make sure Bill gets some food, too. It's like an apple pie. I, oh, I got filled with love. Yeah, Bill's eating right now. I wonder now. the camera's doing so good. I mean, he's he's a happy cameraman. Yes. <laughs> Man. I'm going to come back Monday, is that all right? Is this yes. what we have? Right on. Uh-oh. Now you're in trouble. What'd I do? Turn the tractor off. Uh-oh. Crap, what'd I do? We're I'm sorry, everybody. We're walking back. <laughs> this is probably my fault. I have been given this tour. And this is the first time that not one person on this planet has thought that this was people corn. What is wrong with you people? I know, are you wrong? It was Phoenix's fault. <laughs> not true! Does that look like cow corn to you? Yes. Honestly, I wouldn't know what cow corn looks like. I can't even see it. Huh? Well, open your eyes. Hello? <laughs> Take your glasses off to see better. Look! It's got little hair on it and everything like that. Ew. No, no worms. What are the tickets for? The tickets are a chance to win a prize. So they are, they, each pig will have a color assigned to mm -hmm. them. They get to choose what color they're going to cheer for. So is, is, is the ticket just, here you go, here's your ticket and you have a chance to win? Or do yes. you got to put money in for it or what? Oh, no. no, we're, no. we're still in Utah. So it's free. Oh, it's, it's just, not paramutual pig racing. No, no, no. It's just a chance to win a prize. All so. right. Well, that's good. So, yep. So and you don't want the prize? And they get a chance to win a candy bar at the concession. Yeah, there you go. It, it, yeah, it, the prize is not money. I love, I, I love Andrea more than I do my mom. My mom has never brought me food like this. She's like, get it yourself. I'll feed you anytime. Oh, good. Come on over. I remember for my seventh birthday, my mom got me a job application. She don't care about me. <laughs> well, you You're freeloading. You got to pull your weight. <laughs> she knows. All right. This... <laughs> Who said that? It's corn. So you think it's human corn? <laughs> well, well, he's not wrong. If, if you oh. think it's human corn, I'm going to let you have a bite. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I just picked it. It's very fresh. <laughs> it's not don't, don't I'm not paying for your braces. Don't, don't, I'm not don't going to. I'm not that dumb. Everybody hear that? I'm not paying for his braces. I heard it. <laughs>
<laughs> is he gonna do it? Is he really gonna do it? Oh, I hope he bites it. Come on, do it for do it for the camera. All right. Yeah. Oh, I bet that tastes. Horrible. I got slobber on my oh. cord. Oh, I bet that tastes so horrible. Oh. Are you gonna bet for Kevin Bacon? Well. Or crispy bacon. Crispy bacon. Yeah, so... I thought that was that goat's name earlier, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, so we're ready to start. We're going to have him come into the starting gate. Okay. These pigs have raised, um, were raised in North Dakota and trained there with Daryl's racing pigs. Get, get this! It's, it's like... It's like. It's a real thing. Uh, these pigs were officially licensed by Porky. <laughs> yes. And they're highly trained yes. running machines. Yes. It is true. They run so fast. If you blink, you'll miss it. Is they it only one lap? Track. Only one lap, and they're racing for a secret treat. I, I can't give my secret I, away. I hear them over there squalling. They know they're ready to race. This corn right here is not sweet corn. So in the summer, one of my one of my absolute favorite treats is to take corn just like this. Well, not like this, but take sweet corn and boil it and dip it in butter. Not salt and pepper, or I mean not margarine, of course salt and pepper. Butter, salt and pepper, not margarine. Margarine will kill you. It really will. And then eat it, corn on the cob. One of my favorite things, right? Really yummy. Well, this is not that kind of corn. But it is people corn. In fact, we eat corn like this all day long, every day. Everyone on this wagon eats corn like this every day. How do you think we do that? I think I think the, the, the cows eat it you and then milk? you make milk from the cows. That would be second hand, kind of like a second hand vegetarian. And no, no, that's not the answer. Yes. Huh? What'd you say? Doritos, Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos. Don, Hor or Don Julio tortilla chips with our salsa, right? Corn tortillas, right? They've raced all over the United States at county and state fairs, and they're here to retire this year at Green oh. Acres. So oh, really? Do you guys get to keep them, make sausage and bacon and stuff with them? They're our pets. We love these guys. They have, you know, we've hand fed them. They're, they're, they're pigs. <laughs> they're pigs. We will raise them. That's like and, saying your, then, cow, your cow's a pet. It's not. And then maybe we'll have them here at Baby Animal Days next spring. So oh, you can yes. I love Baby them. Animal Days. Yes. 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 So I'm right, going to cool. go get them ready, and we're going to start this pig race. Right on. Let's slop some hogs. <laughs> How about Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, root beer? Well, the corn's edible. <laughs> I don't drink that. Huh? Corn. Right? We eat corn like this all the time. Okay? So... <laughs> It's pretty darn important. I hope you learned something about corn. But this corn right here is not going to be people corn. It's going to be secondhand people corn because I am going to chop that great big plant down and we're going to take it to my farm and I'm going to feed that to my dairy cows and they are going to make milk out of that corn. It's both. So the very same corn, the very same corn, my serves two purposes, purposes right <laughs> okay <laughs> bud you can have it nice it's a are. gift <laughs> all right everybody are you ready for the pig races let's hear ya <laughs> oh we are so excited you're here today our pigs could you hear them squealing they are so excited to race they've been waiting all day for you to be here so <laughs> How many of you have ever grown corn this tall in your backyard? Never. It's like eight foot tall. Eight foot tall? Not tall it is. It's way more than eight feet tall. That's like twelve. 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 So look at how nice and straight those rows are right there. Okay, right here. We plant our corn with the GPS. So we have a GPS on our tractor. Right. And I do have to turn it around on the ends. I want you to know I can't just go to sleep. But when I get to the end of the row, I have to pick it up and turn the tractor around and then I hit the button and it drives perfectly straight within a half an inch in a mile. Now think of that. 
That's how accurate it is, okay? Now, how many of you have been through my corn maze so far? Nobody's been through the corn maze? Like, you have to answer me when I ask a question, or I'm not gonna be happy. All right, in the corn maze, in the corn maze, we did not cut any of that out. I planted it just like that, okay? So the way that works is my wife draws the maze out on a piece of paper, and then we download it in the computer, and then we load it on a little memory stick, and we put that memory stick into my planter, and as I go to plant that field, the satellite talks to my planter, and it tells the planter where to plant seeds and where not to plant seeds. So that's how the corn maze was grown on Gibson's Green Acres Dairy, okay? I have always wondered that. Yeah, I've cool. always wondered how you get the design of it. <laughs> That's the only That's one cool. that I know of that's done that way, however. Everybody Most else people it. go in and break it out, cut huh. it out with a tiller or something See, like that. See, I always thought it was UFOs. Okay. No, those are circles. Oh. Oh, circles. UFOs could do it, too. Who's cheering for the black? Woo! How about green? Woo! Oh, maybe green's got the chance. How about blue? Woo! And who's cheering for yellow? Well, before we have the pigs come to the racing chute, they're going to enter right down here. They're going to take a lap around, and the first pig back in is the winner. And so if it is your color, stick around because you have a chance to win a prize. All right, are you ready? Let's get them in here. Let's say pig, 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 pig. Pig, pig, pig. Look at they're serious. They're like, all right, fools. Look at theirs. They're all about it. They are all about it. We're going to do a little bit of dairy trivia right now because we're about to see the cows. Okay? So, if you were to go to Kent's Market today and buy a gallon of whole milk, the red label full fat milk, what percent fat would be in that milk? Two. Four. A hundred. Huh? I don't think if it was 100% fat, it would pour out. Hello? Oh, good point. <laughs> good point. No. Three and a half percent. Now, we're not looking at the cows yet. Oh, sorry. Focus. <laughs> sorry. I, I like Three the cows. Three and a half percent. So, whole milk. Okay, I feel like I've lost control. Whole milk is 96.5% fat free. 2% milk is 98% fat free. 1% milk is 99% fat free. And skim milk is blue water. I do say not, blue? Blue water. It kind of looks blue. Like you can't really see through it. There's a little bit of substance. Okay. So my point is, I do not care what kind of milk you drink. But please drink milk. Because when you do, it makes me happy. And I know you want me to be happy. Pharaoh. Yes. The green's going to win. You think green's going to win? The, the, green, the green is going to be the victor. Is that because you want me to get a new car from Ron? If the green one wins, you get a car? Oh, I think so. I don't know if he agrees, but I think it's a good deal. Yeah, That's Farmer Ron should buy. Uh, th them goats is hungry. <laughs> they ate my last quarter maybe, yesterday. Maybe you should give goats some of them fried Oreos. <laughs> They'd like the fried Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> watch watch how fast they are. Okay. All right. Now, we are now in front of our cows. These are cows. Now, we have a black and white cow over there. That's a Holstein. And then we have brown cows right here. They are jerseys. You probably have seen the black and white cows on the Chick-fil-A commercials, right? Those black and white cows provide all of the chicken for Chick-fil-A restaurants across the United States. <laughs> What? You don't believe me? Are you a farmer? Well, no, I'm just saying if it's called Chick Fil A, you should chicken except for cows here. <laughs> okay, well you're right. You caught me. So there's no beef at Chick Fil A. Okay. Yeah. So it's just chicken. But those Holstein cows are really cool. They're black and white. When they're fully grown, they weigh about 1,800 pounds. Okay. They eat 100 pounds of food every day. They turn that 100 pounds of food into 85 pounds of milk. 
every day. It is amazing how these animals transition the food that we feed them into milk. It is really amazing, okay? Now, the little brown cows, they are called Jerseys. That is where we get our chocolate milk. I'm serious. No, the true moo milk with the red cat, that good stuff, that comes from these brown cows right here. I thought they get condensed milk from those. Just saying. Makes sense Where did you go to school? Anyway. excited to watch livestock run in my life. Oh yeah. Now I understand why people become addicted to gambling and horses. That was kind of, that was awesome. I had nothing at stake and I was just excited because I was winning. Is it true? Do brown cows give chocolate milk? Do you know that in the United States of America, they did a survey two months ago and almost 20% of Americans believed that brown cows give chocolate milk. Can you believe that? That is the truth. So, Those are the they same people obviously looking for Bigfoot. have not been to Farmer Ron's farm. So, I'm glad you're all here so that you know. And the truth is, they do not give chocolate milk. All of our cows give white milk, and it's really delicious. But, the Jersey milk is more concentrated in butter, fat, and protein. And so, a gallon of Jersey milk will make more cheese, ice cream, or butter than a gallon of Holstein milk. Okay, that's why we have the jerseys. All right, does anybody have any questions? All right, bud. We're here with Mr. Chris Dallin and his family. So, I have a question for you. Did you see the pigs race, right? What? Did you, did you see the pigs race? No. No. No, you missed the pig races? Oh, it was cool. How'd you miss the pig race? What were you doing? We couldn't see it. You couldn't see it? So, the, the, the people just crowded? Yeah. You should have had your dad just push people out of the way. You, you know, that's what you should have had him do. You know how when you know you're in trouble with your dad when he gets that dad voice? Hey, what are you doing? And you're scared? Maybe he could have done that and moved people out of the way. <laughs> no? You could have tried it, Chris. I could have tried it. Uh. <laughs> All right, so this is our milking parlor right here. We milk 25 cows on a side here, 50 cows at once in this barn. And we can turn that around five times every hour. So in this barn, we can milk 250 cows at a time, okay, with two employees. Now, you can see that what we got going on right here on the left-hand side, he's attaching the milkers. On the right-hand side, he has a little wand that has brushes and a cleaning solution. And what the brushes do is they stimulate the cow's udder and they tell her it's time to send milk. We don't want to put the milker on the cow until she's ready to milk, okay? Now he's gonna grab that, that gray wand right there. It has a little light on it. That's what he's gonna do right there. He's starting to prepare the cow to be milked, okay? The orange lights that are up on top right there, they tell me that the Fitbit has identified the cow. So when the cow walks in the barn, the antenna reads the Fitbit, and tells me that it knows which cow is in that stall, okay? Now, um, our cows give an average of 85 pounds of milk a day, or 10 gallons, okay? So the pig races, what was up with that? You know what, I was voting for Jimmy Dean the whole time. Jimmy Dean didn't quite make it, but he was number two. Andrea told me one of them was crispy bacon. Crispy bacon, yeah, that's great. That sounds good too. That's or Mel. So, did you guys? You guys did the slide though, right? Yeah. Did, did you go on the slide? No, I watched. No? <laughs> did you do the slide? No. You no. did. No. <laughs> How's the slide? Is it good? Yeah. You think they'll let me up there? Oh yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Think so. There are all kinds of ages and shapes on that slide. <laughs> Hear that? I'm old and fat. <laughs>
I, I mean, I am. And... <laughs> feral. Pretend feral is a cow. Okay. And he had 20 gallons of milk. Moo. 20 gallons of milk to give in one day. How often would you want to come to the barn and get rid of some of that milk? Every chance I got. Every chance. And that's how the cows feel. If you look right down the center of the parlor right there, those cows in the middle are just chewing their cud, looking down the aisle saying, get out of my way, I'm ready to come in. Okay? They love to be milked. Okay? All right, let's go, bud. What I was going to say is this is awesome because agritourism is a new way for farmers and ranchers to yeah. make some extra dough and it's it's a tough life but at the end of the year they're able to make some more and keep things rolling along so it's great to come out and support somebody like this that's why i like um like the hayride they do they, they take you and they actually show you how the dairy works and what happens because what well, was like new they say if you go take kids in new york and you ask them where milk comes from they say the store well yeah and they I mean, have no got, idea we don't need cows we just go get that <laughs> gallon from the store down the road yeah it's interesting how that works how many of you have had a great time at Green Acres today? Yeah. All right. How many have not had a good time at Green Acres today? Okay, that's good news. So, here's the deal. I always have to ask that before I know what I'm about to say. If you had a great time at Green Acres today, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell everybody that you know what a blast you had, because we want them to come have a party with us. That's what I think is really cool about this place. I mean, they're the nicest people in the world anyway, but on top of that, they're like teaching somebody something, not just boo or scaring you. Well, see, and that's the great thing is you come out and have a great time, you can learn a bunch, and then you can learn where your food comes from, uh, and I think that's really important. As you said, I think having a connection to the past as yeah. well as where our roots are is an important thing to do. Can, can I get your name? My name is Molly. And Molly, what is it you're doing down here today? Well, we're just having fun because we had coupons to come here, so we invited a ton of people. That's the best. Coupons are the best way to get... Where'd you get the coupons at? Um, we went to a race, and we got them there. Oh, really? Was it a pig race by chance? <laughs> Unfortunately not. They just had one here. Did you see it? Um, actually, no. Oh, you got it. It's exhilarating. It is. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> We also would like you to go on Facebook at Gibson's Green Acre or at Green Acres Dairy Pumpkin Patch and Corn Maze. We want you to like us and leave us a really nice review. Now, to us, a really nice review is five stars. If you do not feel in your heart that you can give us five stars, please do not get on Facebook tonight. Okay? <laughs> Deal? So if you did not have a great time at Green Acres Dairy tonight, please do not say anything to anybody. Just zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket, and forget that you ever came here. Okay? Deal or no deal? Deal, we can do that, yeah. I, don't, I even learned stuff when I didn't want to. <laughs> like pig racing, for example. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. And and Mr. Green won, as I recall. Yeah, right? I was voting for Green, and he won. It was it was crazy because the way they train those is just like a dog or a horse or anything else. Is they put some food at the end and they do it, and yeah. they they want to be the first one to get there, so they get the most. Can I get your name? <laughs> um, I'm Ashlyn Greenwell. This is Ashlyn Greenwell. And this is. They don't go to Fremont. I'm oh, JC Bates. JC Bates. Where do you go? Wall Quest. Oh, so you will go to Fremont. Going to. Yeah, it's my sister. So what grade are you in now? Eight. Okay, so you're almost there. Yeah. Halfway. Wall Quest. Junior high. Junior high. Oh, oh. In Far West. Yes, I know what we're talking about now. Didn't they like? Don't come for me. Did they? Did they like? <laughs> don't come for you. Did they like tear down Wall Quest and they build a new one? They tore down the one across from the to be, like, a bomb shelter over. Yeah, it was creepy. Cause like my school went there one time for like a year and then like. I don't know. It was kind of weird. It was, it was whack. Yeah, there was a I substitute that. teacher there for like one class. You did? Two. I substituted a music class and a science class. Oh my gosh, it was like oh, 10 man. years ago. Yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, ago. it was way before you were born. Despite the way my co-host looks, he's actually 62 years old. <laughs> I know, so he's great, don't he? It's my skincare. <laughs> so you're here with a big group of people? or About 15 people or more. Holy smokes. You guys been to the Haunted Cord Maze yet? Um, not yet, but we're going to go right after something that we're going to do now, right now. The big slide? Have you hit the slide yet? 
Yeah, it's amazing. It's really I, fun. I know. I can't wait for the slide. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to push Randy off the hay bales. You right have to one. catch me first. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, hey, I hope you have a good time, and thanks for talking with me. Yeah, thank you. Maybe that's how they could train people to lose weight. They could just put a little food at the end of the treadmill, like the carrot on the stick, but like have it be like, like I don't know, a Jolly Rancher or something. <laughs> Maybe so a Jolly Rancher. That's a good idea, isn't it? She would fall for it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell her you said that. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, I thought you meant your mom. <laughs> All righty, Chris. Well, well, thank you so much for talking. Uh, I'm glad Always to see nice you again. to see you, Farrell. You do a great job, and this Thank is a you. great way to connect with people and the land. It's a lot of fun. Thanks. 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 Have you guys been to uh, the maze? Anything like that yet? Yeah, I actually got in here for free because I worked here. You work here? Yeah, if you work here, then you get in for free. I'm awesome. getting a job here. Right, meow. No, 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 no. no. She, like, just volunteered. Like, yeah, she, she, like, said she worked in the haunted and maze. Got makeup on. It was actually pretty creepy. You want to see a picture? I so cannot you can, wait. You can work here and get in for free, but it's not going to help your drone fund. Oh, yeah. You're not going to get any money. Yeah, i got to make money. They'll pay you in, oh, yeah. in they fries. They you. They just let you in curds. for free. Well, you think the Gibsons would be generous people. They are generous. They, they, you, they really are. They yeah. gave you free Andrea food. was my preschool teacher. Really? Mm-hmm. So how long was that, like two years ago? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I'm funny, do you? See, look. Oh, that is hideous. I mean, it's cute, but it's hideous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Artie, can I get your name? Ali Martinez. And Ali, what is happening here today? Um, today we're at Green Acres Farm with all of our employees. If my Midtown people can say hi. Hey, boys. Midtown. <laughs> what, what is Midtown? Um, Midtown is a community health center. We're right here in Ogden. And our mission is to provide a medical home to individuals and families in our communities. And we specifically work with the uninsured population in Ogden. But today all of our employees and our families are here today and having a fabulous time. I don't, I don't think all these people are together, so I'm just going to ask random questions. Will that work? Yeah. Are, are you guys cold? Uh, yeah. Not You're right standing now. by the fire barrel. How are you cold? I don't know, man. That was a trick question. I'm sorry. Sandals, so. <laughs> you do have, why are you wearing sandals? Because really nice I wasn't fire. prepared. Oh, yeah, well. That, you need, yeah, you need to be prepared. Like some questions. Okay, like, what do you want me to ask a question about? Anything. What is the square root of five? I don't know either. Don't feel bad. I'm not that smart. <laughs> um, is this the first time you've ever been to a haunted attraction? No. No. I'm all for scary stuff. Where's the scariest place you've been? Yeah. Mm, school. 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay, besides school, where's the scariest place you've been? Like the old, the old Walkwest. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the <laughs> I went to the old West Weber. You know where that is? Yep. Old what? West, West Weber. Weber. So there's the new West Weber, but it's on this. Same I went there. to the old West. They knocked it down. <laughs> Anyways, there's ghosts in there, like full-on ghosts. And oh, you're gonna go first? You're gonna go first. Okay. Oh, that is slick. All right. All right. Ready? Are we gonna race? Yeah. One. Okay, go. I know. Somebody help me up. <laughs> that was fun. You get zipping down that slide. It's a good time. You're by the slide. You're generating business. I have been on the slide several times today. It's the best, huh? Knows. It is the best, but I have to stick on the right hand side. Why is that? Why? Because it's the slower side. Is it? Oh, we want the slow go one. The yeah, we gotta go to the left hand side. So if you really run a thrill. Right on the left All right. hand side. They, like, they put some butter on it. Yeah, yeah, that Pam, would be good. Pam, Pam. Right? No, it's got to be butter. This is it's got to be butter from the dairy. Yeah. Butter, butter is better for you. Yeah. yeah. Farmer until you die from eating butter. margarine. That's right. So. Are you cold? No. No? No. Are you guys here oh. on a date? No. No? Yeah, we're together. Are you? No. <laughs> they're, here for, they're here for the cute girls. Yeah. Hey, that's a great question. What, what, what's your favorite thing about coming down here? What's your favorite? Um, my friends are here. My friends are here. Yeah, you guys aren't down here looking at boys, are you? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Look behind you. Hey, did, did, hey, let me ask the boys now. Are you guys down here t looking at girls? Yes. 
Yeah, see? They ain't gonna lie. No, but the girls are like, no. Yeah. What do you mean? No. Yes, we don't no. like boys. Boys are gross. So have you guys been down here before? Or is this no, your first time? This is our first time. Is it? Have you? It's been a lot of fun, a great day. We've been here since 11 o'clock this morning. No way. Um, and they went all out for us. Hot dogs, hamburgers, s'mores, and the kids have not stopped. They don't, but so. then they go home and they sleep so good. I was just thinking the same thing. You're like, get it out, go at that slide again. That's right, that's right. So when I was asked for a sleepover today, I was like, yes. Absolutely. I'm going to tire the kids out, then we'll go home. Yeah, Alrighty, well, thank you so much for talking with us. I appreciate it. Thank Thank you, thank you, and thanks to Green Acres. You know, these guys could probably have a better chance of getting dates if they didn't scream over Is the top your of your head, right? Is first time coming like that, <laughs> Alrighty, guys, well, I like the idea of standing by the barrel. Yeah, yeah. That they're, they're, smart, they're the smartest ones by the barrel. Short of the girl wearing sandals. It's not live. Yep. Oh, he just called you not smart. <laughs> What's wrong with what? Well, you have sandals on. Look at those things, they're beautiful. But they are sparkly. Oh, they're gorgeous. Get a shot of these sandals. Them. It's like disco sandals. <laughs> Look at those. Bling, bling. <laughs> she wins cool shoes. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for letting us bother you. Yeah. Hey, good luck on the hunt for the girls. Good luck keeping guys like this away from you. Uh, we'll try. All right. Okay, thank you so much for coming out to support us at Green Acres. We hope you had a blast. Stay as long as you want and just enjoy the farm. We hope you even come back this year, but for sure... We hope to see you again in the future. Thank you very much. Yay! Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>